Hello y'all, Boogie Knight here, how's it going, and welcome back to The Glass Staircase. Hope everyone is having a wonderful day so far, and thank you again for following me on this very weird and wild journey. Um, I also want to apologize yet again for my mic volume being very, very low in the last episode, and particularly in episode one, thank you Porn for pointing that out to me. Uh, I've since cranked down the volume on OBS even more, cranked up the mic volume, but my microphone on my headset could be going. You don't want to listen to me complain about this. You want to hear more about this game, which is fantastic. Um, we're going to move a little slower. I, once again, I still feel like we're coming down at the tail end of it since we just killed Demon Thing with a hook for a hand. And no, that was not my nickname in high school. Um, <clears throat> we still have the rifle. That's good news. And Through that creepy port call us. Um, I feel like I'm going to take a few moments to kind of browse around and see if there's anything that I missed, like nasty-ass cockroaches. Because um, I feel like I might have missed something, um, like the point, before the zombie creatures, which also looked like Hollow from Dark Souls, came out to rip my face off. But then again, I was rushing around, and wise men say only fools rush in, but I can't help falling in love. No one's going to get that reference. We're moving on. There's a door over there. Um, a lot of, lot of caskets. I got a door here. I definitely lost my way too, because I don't know if we can actually kill off those zombies, or we just need to 23 skidoo out of here. Is there something we do it in here? No, that's just a wall. <clears throat> Nothing here, okay. So I think we're going to map our way around here before we do anything else, because once again, I completely just bum rush myself into it. Is that a side hallway? Yes, it is. Let's go ahead and look over here. But there's another hallway back yonder. Okay, that's the way we came. That's towards Zombie Town. So let's go to this side hallway really quickly. There we go. Just stay cool. Another... Hey! Or is this the way? I feel like I'm covering a lot of stuff. Maybe there's multiple ways into the central chamber. But I think... It might have been grabbing that hand grenade that really nerfed it for us, that caused the zombie inf infestation. Oh, hang on, what's this? A tunnel. I feel a breeze. I could probably escape this way if I could remove these bars. Like the hand grenade? Okay, now we have a purpose. So we got a sprint to, Okay, so I'm guessing once we get the hand grenade, we just go flying down here. But I think the hand grenade... That's the only option that I see, unless by killing all these zombie creatures, we're going to get, like, a crowbar. But I think we need something a little more powerful than that to rip bars off. And apparently, since everything here is made of explodium, I think that's what we need to do. So... We're in Coffin Town. So we go up here. We sprint down here. But first, let's just kind of get our bearings again. Yeah, so we run straight. Evening, gentlemen. I hate you both. Saw it off and leave me alone. A realistic statue. Okay, Skeletor. Whatever you say. Okay, so this is the door that will lead us outward. So we just need to 23 skidoo through the other way. Actually, can we would not trigger the scene? Can we maybe look in the other rooms? I may have sealed my fate. Okay, uh, I think we're okay. Those roaches are f nasty. I know we were here in the last section, but like I said, I think I kind of rushed through it. In games like this, you shouldn't rush. Because I've really, really had a lot of fun. I hope y'all have too. I feel like this is good for kind of getting back into the swing of things of the project. Um, at least on the gaming side. I, once again, I still don't pull the gate lever. Uh. Oh! So this is the... F okay, hang on. So we go down here. Around a corner. Okay, so. Have we been here before? Because I don't think we have. 
No, we have. We have. Okay. I just got completely topsy turvy. Okay, so we just did a full circuit. So, down here, down here, this should be the great room. They're great! That's the. Okay, so there's the grate that'll get us out of here. I know, I know, I'm over planning. Shut up. Because I think once that's triggered, we're just gonna go flying down here and just see how fast we can break through all these zombie hordes. That's the plan. I'm sticking to it, and it's probably not gonna work. But so far, we've only been killed twice once by possessed Dorothy, and then once by. The hollow. Which we're just going to call from now on. Okay. Come on, Margaret. Shake a leg. I gotta tell you, Margaret's badass right there with the rifle and the flashlight in her, uh, the top of her slip. Once again, very, very Silent Hill-ish, and I definitely applaud Puppa Comfort for keeping with the meta. We've already read this, but let's go ahead and just revisit it. I have no fear of death here. I have for what may come of me here. Dr. Sullivan is the prophet of our, the ages. Even being able to see the staircase to our saviors is an honor that will never that I may never have hoped to have in this life. I will give this vessel onto whatever is willed to me. The only true pain left is waiting, waiting to bring us to salvation. Let any who read this know I was one with the true God. I helped bring us all to this salvation. There's no greater honor than this. Hence the name, the glass staircase. Staircase unto the heavens. All hail Ozymandias as he crumbles to dust, or at least that's the way I'm sticking with it. Just kind of, once again, just want to see what's around here. There's the writing. Let's take another glimpse at that writing on the wall. Maybe I can translate it this time around. At least give it a good old shot. I'm going to say that's right. Be on to all that were something. The stair shall last unto the true and only God. Okay, that makes a little more sense now that I'm seeing it. Now that I'm not having adrenaline rushes. There's the grenade. Yeah, it must be left from the war. Raymond Reddington would be proud. Let's go steal some other armaments and start, and then, uh, start, start a crime scene. I'll never be as charming as uh, Red. No, we... We're fine. And I'm not talking about the acronym, which stands for Freaked Out, Insecure, Neurotic, and Emotional. Look, hang on, let's go back in here for one second. Get a close-up of the look on her face for a hot minute. She's just like, screw you guys, I'm getting out of here. As I have, girl, take no prisoners. Mama's got a boomstick. Alright, so we're going to trigger the cutscene back up here. We're going to deal with the zombie the zombie nation. I'm not talking about the band that had Curtin Croft 2000. <laughs> no one's going to get that reference either. 0 for 2, Knight. 0 for 2. <clears throat> it's been a full day, y'all. And I've got a splitting headache. Kind. We might die again. But either way, we know what's going on here. So let's go ahead and just... Morning, y'all. You know, now would be a good time to run instead of waiting for the cutscene to go. Okay, that was foolish of me. Oh, and Skeletor's after me as well. Yep, in here. Down the hall. Oh! Oh! We can... So they can be killed. Hell yeah. I guess I just wasn't aiming properly. Improper aim, that was my nickname in high school. Not really, no one's gonna get that reference, except maybe Silverleaf. Oh. Okay, um, will this work? Use the grenade? Yes. Now would be a good time to run. Did you kill the zombie while we were at it? Nice. Oh. No, turn around. 
first aid kit would be nice. Oh, that was so foolish of me. Where are we? Oh, we're back. Oh, okay. Hang on. We're... Yes, now we can heal ourselves. That's good. We're back where we ran into Margaret. Okay. Oh, hi. I think we gotta go right. I think that's how we get out of here. Come on. You are good at map skills. Nope, never mind. Great, we gotta go back to- Oh, we gotta cut through where we fought Dorothy. Oh, he's got an axe. Yeah, if he brings a knife to a gunfight, the loser. Okay, let's just go ahead and run. Okay, you go and just stand there, that's cool. I'm gonna go ahead, reload. We must all escape from the morgue. Well, I guess that makes sense. Once we're out of the underground, we can, the only one way we go is to back. Nope. Undead. I can't think of a really short cane quote right now, y'all. Everything is burning down. I don't want to get burnt. This will probably take burn damage. But this should bring us back up to the lawn. That was foolish of me. Just run. Nope. Yes. There we go. And on fire. Great. That was stupid of me. I'm probably gonna die. I'd rather not have to run this gauntlet again. Okay, we're good. Fine. Um. How about. Nope. Um, is there another med kit I can steal? No, but apparently we have a ladder. Actually, let's do one quick cursory look and see. I don't know what these do. I could have sworn. Let's go just do a quick cursory glance and see. Something is coming. We better run. Not good. Uh huh? Don't jimmy me, Jules. Don't flip and tell me I've got to deal with this thing again. This better be just gonna glitch in the matrix. I disagree with you. Just, as long as you don't get rid of the rifle. 
kits. Med kits, med kits, med kits anywhere. Okay, we're back in the bedroom. The only thing left to do is get the hell out to the staircase, and we should be shitting in tall cotton. Um, just a bed. Yes! I'm not taking any chance in case we have another zombie invasion. We already read this. Yes, we did. Okay, let's do this. <clears throat> let's go ahead and just let's go ahead and lie and strut out of here for old times' sake. Here we go. This way, maybe. What? Oh, bull hog! Are you kidding me? You what? Get me back to... Come on, don't tell me I've got to do this whole running again. That was not cool. Can we even kill him? Can we just run? Oh boy, I might have to do this all over again. I hope not. If not, we at least know the way and have our tactic. Come on, don't do me dirty like this game. Ah, oh, we gotta do this all over again. Damn it! I'm sorry, y'all, but at least we kind of have an idea about what we're looking for. So we can shave off some time. I'm gonna beat this. I really am. Okay, so... Down here, and I won't pull the lever this time, because I feel like maybe that's going to cause more zombies to come after me. Alright, so. Down here, to the right, the left, her right. Here's the thing. The grate. We go blow it up, we get the hell out of dodge. We line strat through the labyrinth. I'm not even gonna bother to kill anything unless there's absolutely, absolutely have to. We now know that Hook for a hand, or I guess Pyramid Head 2.0. These statues come to life too, which is not good. <clears throat> I would just rather not have to do this a third time, so we're gonna be a little more careful with taking on fiery demon thing. Where's the grenade? It's not in here. No. Oh, it's in the last... Here it is. In here. Bingo. Yes. <clears throat> now let's run the gauntlet. Again. It's okay. It's all part of the learning experience. We now know that demon thing is after us. I wonder if we probably have to kill him again. Okay, here we go. Cutscene. Can't skip this. Out come hollows again. That apparently don't like him when I steal hand grenades. Ugh, closer look. Damn. They're creepy as hell. Okay, that's not good. I just had this game. The smell sensitivity is ultra. Well, it's really sensitive. Derp. Oh, hi. Really? Really, game? Really? Yeah, go ahead and clip through the wall. That's cool. Well, that was probably my own gaff. And we know there's med kits. So if we can just be spearing. Here. Yes. In here. 
Now we're making progress. We heal as well, because there's no reason for us to come back. So some, how do we get to the second floor from this underground? I mean, do we get through the walls? I mean... I know, I know, I'm overanalyzing. Oh, there's three. Hell. Focused a little bit jank. That's okay. Don't expect it to be spot on. Okay, so through the door, to the left, around the barricade. Don't get torched. That's cool. Nope. Miss me. Ah, suckers. My god, I run like a drunkard. Once again, I apologize, the commentary is not going to be snarky like it usually is right now while I try and dodge this crazy ass run. While I run completely zigzag because, well, my control is bad news. Go, door, run. Whew. If I die again, though, fighting Fire Demon, I don't know, just because I don't want to, I don't edit my, get my playthroughs. I don't want to do y'all a disservice, but I do want to finish this damn thing. <clears throat> and again, I still need to finish um, Embers of Mirum for Barefoot. I might just have to play through that on my own, simply record that and do it unlisted. Oh, crap! Dude. Oh, eat it, sucker. Get through the door. But we do know that there's a med kit. Oh, saw it. What are we doing? There we go. Around here. It's just it's the way we came in. We're safe here. There's monsters can't open doors. There we go. Nope, we're not gonna activate that and go to that cutscene. Yes, let's go to the bladder. <clears throat> Heal ourselves. We drop this. I still don't like that idea, but then again, I guess with everything lit by far, we should be okay. Famous last words. And don't get caught. Be like when we fought the demon creature for the first time. We only attacked him when we had space. But I feel like we won't be able to make it down until we after we destroy this person, this thing. Because we probably have to go through that door, I bet, that he broke out of. We just have to... <clears throat> yeah, I bet. No, we probably have to go through that door that it... Gosh! Okay, so this thing's got a stamina system, but we don't. Trouble on the curves. Let's just try to get its patterns down.
So I don't know how many more bullets we have. But it's got some stamina on it, so that's good for us.
What? Has he done it? Ew, it's like disintegrating and bleeding out. Has he done it? Come get some. Well, the music's gone. It's still locked, so we're never gonna be able to get onto the balcony. Unless there's like a key that I missed. That's the door I came out of. Can we just like now, can we go now, please? Because if so, that would be grand. That's the door that we just came out of. Well, no, that's the door back to the bedroom where all the other girls were. Down the stairs. Get me the hell out of Dodge. Like, now. Please tell me there's nothing else I'd have to kill. <clears throat> That's a creepy... Okay. Oh, no, hang on. We went the wrong way. Derp. You know, you've been in and out of these rooms constantly. This time, I'm not looking around for anything. I have one goal, getting the hell out of here. We're, I mean, we still have the rifle, which makes me a little nervous. So we gotta go back down here, through this door. There we go. And we go. I sound like Yogi Bear for a second. I'm not sure why. I'm tired, y'all. I'm sorry. I've been awake since 4 a.m. 4.30 at... 4, 4.30ish, maybe before 4. Come on. There. Over here. There we go. Out the door. Well, I guess we have to fight Fire Demon one more time. Or Hook Demon on Fire now becomes the Rain God. Or it's not raining. How'd you know that? Take it with you. Lion Strat, go. Uh, you're free. Okay, so there's nothing there. So how the hell do I get out of here? This way? What? What? Huh? I. Excuse me. Are you ready? Are you ready to go, Margaret? No. No. See, I'm gonna go back inside, kill some more undead, run the risk of getting killed again just to get more blood on my dress. Here's your sign. Huh? Wait, pardon? First of all, you're dead. Second of all, what happened to the other two? Unless this was... Some sort of premonition that was alluded to in the notes that happened to the other characters. And there's the glass staircase. <laughs> well, I'll be damned. Okay. Um, yeah. All in all, I really liked this game. I thought the horror atmosphere was great. I thought the tension was a great buildup. The jump scares were not cheap. The character design was fine. The camera angles left a little bit to be desired mainly just because how they would ship, but that's that's a sign of retro old horror games like, once again, Resident Evil, um, old Silent Hill types. Um, I love the Dario Argento kind of vibe here, but once again, up until the ending, it was great, but having the three girls stand there as we're rolling away, very ambiguous, I'm trying to make sense of that, but that's my take on it. Thank you, Puppet Combo. You've released another great game. I definitely want to go back and you know, replay some of your stuff and play some of the other games that I haven't played. And I've seen on Twitter you've got a couple other games that are in the making, so I look forward to playing that as well. And hopefully for those of y'all that watch this, you're going to go out and get Glass Staircase for yourselves. Because a lot of fun times, but... As, of course, my opinion doesn't matter only y'all, so let me know what y'all think about this game, the whole process, in the comments below. 
So, of course, with that being said, before I call it a night, um, if you like the Boogie Night Project and you want to find out more, I do have a Twitter page as well as a public Discord channel, and links to both of those are in the description below, as well as a link to my temporarily defunct Twitch page that I'm hoping to get back up and running in the near future. And, of course, if you have money you want to get rid of without donating to a good cause or just burning it, wiping your ass with it, or throwing off a bridge, my Patreon account. Otherwise, of course, with that being said, I hope you all have a fantastic evening, and I'll catch up at the end on the flip side, all right? Peace.